Hello again, YouTube. It's Skylar. Welcome back to my face. And today's topic is going to be about purses. So, at the start of my transition, I learned very quickly that men and women's clothes are different. Naturally. One of the biggest things that I noticed was with pants. Men's pants have enormous pockets compared to women. Uh, you can fit everything in there. So naturally when I switched to women's clothing I suddenly realized that there was no space to put anything in my pockets anymore. And so I tried to work around this at first. Um, I started carrying like only the essentials so like credit card, some money, car keys, ID. But this started to become quickly inconvenient when I started carrying my makeup compact, lipstick, and et cetera, et cetera. Until one day while I was shopping, I happened to walk through a department of just purses. And suddenly something clicked in my mind that said, oh, now this all makes sense. So I got my first purse. And it is awesome. I love my purse. Like, I, I didn't realize, like, how much stuff you could carry in a purse. It's amazing. Like, way more stuff than I could ever carry as a guy. So, there's a few different options for purses that I've noticed. Um, in, in just broad category, you have sort of, like, totes. So, like, they're just, like, little boxes with just handles on them. I'm not particularly fond of these ones because I prefer to keep my hands free while I'm out and about. So I prefer what I have right here is my purse, which has a nice little strap, which just goes right over like this. And then I just carry it over my shoulder. And I like this for two reasons, because the one that I have is smaller so it's lightweight so it doesn't really drag my shoulder down and it comes right across my chest so it doesn't it's not going to go anywhere whereas some people I've seen carry it just on one shoulder I don't like that idea because I would see it just constantly falling off all the time so if you are looking to get a purse and you are transitioning I would definitely consider probably to start smaller. You don't want to go with a giant carry-all because you're not trying to carry around a suit of luggage. No offense to women who have extremely large purses, but I do find them a bit unattractive. They are excessively large, and if you are going to carry that much stuff, you might as well just invest in a backpack. That's just my personal opinion. So... I like cute little small things that I can fit, you know, my wallet in and, you know, other stuff. What do I even have in here? Oh, I'm going to have to make a video on just what I have in my purse. That's going to be fun. So, with that said, if you are transgender and you haven't yet bought a purse, you need to go get one because you will love it. And... Little did I realize, only until after I had bought a purse, how much better it really made me feel. Like, for what, I'm sure it's different for every person, but for me, like, actually having a purse kind of gets rid of my dysphoria in some way. That's weird to say. But, like, just the, the hardcore femininity of just the purse, like, it just, it feels really good, and it's it's actually really super convenient. Like, it's functional and fashionable as they would say so if you haven't if you haven't thought about that idea yet you definitely should consider it I'm pretty sure 99% of all women love purses there's there's probably some small group that just absolutely despises purses um, their numbers are small and they are negligible so if you are trans and you haven't yet thought purse, think purse, because for me personally, the purse is awesome. It's it's just the greatest thing ever. 
So, I hope that was educational for any of you that are thinking of transitioning or starting your transition and you're considering fashion accessories. The purse is probably your going to be your go-to. So, with that said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all tomorrow in the next video. Bye.